Hello and welcome to my first ever scripted non-live video on the channel. Normally it's just Twitch VOD says I don't have unlimited storage for here. So if you ever wonder why I talk to people and there's nobody there, that's what's happening. Anyway, I'd like to apologize for the terrible camera work and quality and structure of this video. I've never done anything like this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's my first time. But uh, I noticed that there's not a lot on this keyboard available in terms of information. There's obviously, you know, it's it's a brand new product. Uh, so I'm going to go over why I found that this was the right thing for me to get, uh, my impressions of it, and I'm actually going to start with the whole value proposition. Uh, should you buy it? Should you not? Which version should you buy? There's the bare bones, pre-built, that kind of deal. And uh, I don't want to make you wait through 10 minutes of me explaining and unboxing it and breaking it down and telling you all the cool features just to tell you it's not worth it or something like that. So here's my thought process and here's my reasoning. Uh, bare bones is worth it. Go no switches. Uh, if you're really down with the keycaps, go ahead and get them. If not, bring your own keycaps because I don't think the pre-built's worth it. And there's, you know, there's caveats to all this, but my personal opinion is uh, the bare bones is worth it if you bring your own switches because you're either going to bring your own switches, exactly what switch you want, be that Zelio, Silence, Cherry MX, Halos, CTC, whatever. You'll be bringing what you want and you'll only be bringing the amount that you want. So even if you decide to go with Kale or Gatoron, you can buy 70 switches instead of 120. So $30 for 120, which is what GMMK offers, isn't a horrible price. It's just that you don't need that many. So you can save 10 to $15 if you just buy less. Who would have thought? Uh, but that really kind of kills the value, having to buy those extra switches. And... Uh, that's it. Like, review over. That's it. That's why I don't recommend the pre-built, actually. Uh, bring your own switches. You can bring less of them if you're using the same switches, or you can just get exactly what you want. And as for the keycaps, if you're down with their keycaps, it's, again, not a terrible price for, you know, PBT or a pudding style keycaps. 25 bucks is normal. But you can find PBTs for 15 to 35 bucks, depending on the style, you know, gradient whatever you know the two-tone gray or the brown tan orange stuff that i see all the time the thing is those will cost you around the same price maybe a bit more maybe a bit less but you're getting exactly what you want and it's it's kind of just going to keep coming back to that it's a it's a fight between value and uh customization and why i just don't feel like the pre-built is that great of a deal so unless you're really in love with like their aura keycaps or something and you're set on one of the switches you have to offer they have to offer not you i mean unless you're dmmk uh it doesn't really make sense to go with the pre-built uh unless you're gonna buy it on sale but then the hell are you even watching this for uh you're gonna get it on sale anyway or if you use someone's friend code you can find your way to get 15 20 25 percent off then it's more worth it Keep in mind, say, the friend code down below, which is mine, uh, you'll get 15% off, but I do get 10% off that order. As long as it's $100 or more, you'll get that 15% off anyway, uh, should you decide to, to buy one. But that will cover the difference in terms of the extra switches, and that's basically the only way I can recommend the pre-built if you're going to use someone's code or you know buy it on sale to cover the cost of those extra switches. But to me, it just makes more sense, you know, bring your own switches, pay less for less, uh, bring your own keycaps, get exactly what you want for around the same price, maybe a bit more, but it's exactly what you want. Uh, and it has nothing to do with quality. Uh, it's just that in the 90 to $120 range, you have, you know, you can do like a cheap DIY with a GK61. Get basically a 70 pack of switches like i said same kale silvers or something that's what i bought kale silver 70 pack for 14 bucks a little less than 14 actually and you, you'll probably be at around 90 to 100 bucks or you can get something like an ampro 2 mash drop control poker vortex ducky one two mini or whatever those will be 90 120 130 dollars and you're looking at the same price range and probably the same level of like personalization 
which is none, if you're looking at the pre-built. And if that's exactly what you want, by all means, like I said, find yourself a code, either mine, someone else's, whoever you like more, or something like that, uh, and save yourself basically the money on the extra switches you're buying. Or maybe consider an Ampro 2 if you want, I think they have Bluetooth, uh, you want something to travel with or something like that, and you, it already has the switches you want, some, something like that. But that, that's what it comes down to to me. Uh, you're just, you're basically just paying extra for switches you don't need. And to me, it makes more sense to get something more personal or save the money. And for the keycaps, again, if you're down with them, get them. If not, get something more personal. Get something that's going to be a unique personal touch, a personal look. That's why I recommend the bare bones and not the pre-built. But uh, I've, I've gone over it. I've given you my opinion. You don't have to agree. You can tell me why you don't below. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get into like the little unboxing, my impressions of the general build quality. Uh, hopefully I was able to help you decide if there's value in it for you. Maybe take a path, whatever one you want, or none of them. Pre-built bare bones, you don't have to get any of it. Maybe you decide it wasn't for you, I don't know why you're still watching then. But uh, if you're still interested, I'm going to go over it a little bit. You should probably check someone else's video out because they probably have better quality images and I'm going to go over the software which I'm very impressed with as well but let's go ahead and get into that. Alright so now we're getting into the little unboxing uh, included in the box is not my hairy ass arm but there is a dust cover of course the the GMMK compact bare bones unit itself uh, micro USB plus a micro USB L shape uh, personally I think it should have been USB-C but uh, you know especially since it's something people will be likely to travel with but whatever uh it's better than not including anything at all i suppose uh, the l shape is a nice touch as well uh, but a, a USB C would have helped then to uh, allow the cord to be routed the other way but anyway uh, also included in the box is a key switch fuller it's the little metal thing you see uh, a novelty keycap i'm pretty sure it's like they're logo slash motto kind of deal uh it just says ascend it's red uh as some spare little rubber feetsies it's in the same bag as that red ascend keycap i i don't know if that's always the case but it was for me that little dmmk D decal i don't know maybe somebody wants to put that on the back of their things chassis and of course on the back of the chassis there are flip up feet uh but there's also a little red ring keycap puller which I know a lot of people prefer over the like two wire things. And of course there's the marketing material and the user guides and switch installation guide. But uh, that's about all there is. Pretty standard. Uh, I, I would say the keycap is kind of a nice bonus. Um, uh, I don't know who's really going to use it. I feel like it's a very custom type of thing. But we'll go ahead and now move on to the software and probably wrap it up from there so uh, thanks and let's go ahead and move that on okay so now we're gonna go and take a look at some software uh, first on your screen you'll see that there's Logitech you can probably just read down below there's Logitech, Razer, and the GMMK software this is Logitech so this is kind of an example of what I'd call like over-engineered uh, half of these things kinda just bring you to a different screen uh, this could all have just been one easy simple thing instead of having to switch through five different things not even sure what this is for I don't have a Logitech keyboard but I do have a Logitech mouse as you can see it's the G502 uh, that was just a random test because I was trying to figure out what the hell that did uh, this just takes you to a link for something else same with that that's the settings uh, nothing really that interesting there but this this was just to show you uh, an idea of something I don't really like like it's not the worst thing I've ever seen uh, unless they've changed it the worst one I've ever used is Tessero's it's I don't have it anymore but it's not very good that was that was my opinion but uh, yeah that's that's just one I don't really care that much for uh, you know what this is glorious but let me just show off razors real fast I'm gonna drag it off the screen so you might see some similarities obviously there's the difference in the keyboard size uh, this is really all you have there, so you're cutting out all of these. That's my current 
main driver will be swapping it out for that hopefully but uh, this is how you change the colors and this is what I wanted to show off the most uh, I don't personally care for macros but I'll show you how on the GMMK I don't feel like I need to on this there is a different menu for it though so that I think that's also important to note so let's take a look at GMMKs you can see here is the keyboard you're probably thinking oh what do I do here well it turns out you can click and either set a macro or any key to any other key and uh, I think that's pretty nice it's a neat feature unfortunately there's only three profiles as far as I can tell you can import and export them so if you have them on maybe another PC I'm assuming that's what that's for or if you have a friend who wants to share something this is to record macros so you would then assign the macro to that if you wanted to do it I'm pretty sure you can do like any number of functions so uh, if you're using it to you know video edit or something there you have it but uh, keep in mind that I was having the LED editor open for Razer you can see it it's pretty comprehensive you know it shows you what will do what uh, and this is probably my favorite feature about the GMMK software it actually shows you what it does on screen I've never actually seen this in a software maybe I just have gotten unlucky but uh, yeah that's that's pretty impressive to me uh, that is Razer Synapse 2.0 in the back they're, they're on 3.0 now I do not have a keyboard compatible with that but yeah whatever you're seeing here you've probably already seen on in the background of my voice for uh, for the you like sort of value proposition I was talking about earlier these are all the light effects and exactly what you see on the screen is actually what's happening to the board in real life and that's that's pretty cool to me so you get a little sample uh, that seems pretty useful I don't for this it's the polling rate there's really no reason not to max it out as far as I'm aware but I just wanted to go ahead and show that off so you can really like really get into figuring out what it's going to look like without having to look down every two seconds to ensure that your pattern or whatever is exactly how you wanted it because you can do custom things as far as I'm aware so you can you know decide you can change the color so uh, that's white and it's actually happening to the keyboard right now I I thought that was really cool it's probably my feature feature favorite of software we'll go ahead and pretend that that made sense but I think that's important you know it's it's one of the biggest parts of an RGB customizable keyboard uh, it's a very user-friendly interface as opposed to you know Logitech again that was a mouse so it isn't directly comparable uh, but I think that's pretty awesome I'm very impressed with that and uh, that's about all there is so you've you've got my opinion you've got my impressions of it uh, the, you know the value and now my impression of the software uh, so overall I'm pretty impressed with the build quality the software and I just thought that that would be an interesting share so uh, you don't have to agree with me feel free to comment down below with suggestions tips comments you know you can let me know why you do or do not agree you can ask me questions about the product maybe I missed something you want to know about it maybe I'll try to find out for you so that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. Feel free to, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter if you want pictures of my food or something. You can subscribe if you like this. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do. I Maybe you want a Razer review for some reason. Uh, that's a pretty old keyboard. And spoiler alert, I don't recommend it. It's like 120 bucks. I got it for 11 So uh, unless you can see it for 11 you know, buy like 10 of them and give me some. But uh, that, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I was able to help. And until next time, bye.